Hello and welcome friends, fans, or anyone else interested in dinos. We're getting into our second batch of ranked games, and before we do that, I've got a couple changes to highlight, mainly Terror of the Peaks. Now this is one card to look for when you unlock it. It's a great addition, all around, good body, it's going to do a lot of targeted removal or just finishing off the player. We've got quite a few creatures in the deck, so that's going to be nice. Then there's Return of the Wild Speaker. Now I used this a little bit when Eldraine came out. It was pretty good, but hey, we didn't have to spend a wild card. And we should draw quite a few cards because the deck is mostly non-human. And then being instant speed, buffing most of the deck will be pretty good and I think could lead to some game winning swings because plus three plus three is certainly nothing to laugh at. And then after that is another Scorching Dragon Fire just to finish off the playset. I may replace it soon with something more versatile like Lightning Strike, but I don't anticipate the Exile being too relevant right now, early on in the beginning of an account. So it shouldn't be too bad replacing it. If we get into Exile being relevant, it's it won't be hard to add back in. And then I redeemed my last three wild cards, uh, rare wild cards for Marauding Raptor. I just felt that he adds so much to the deck, I might as well get him now. I'm going to get him at some point anyways, so to give the deck that extra kick, extra power, putting him in. Alright, let's get into it. It's Mara. Oh, this person could be breaking into silver. They might be tryharding. Let's uh, let's find out. Um, uh, it's not really too good. Both tap lands. I mean, it's pretty decent. If one of those was a forest, I'd definitely say yeah, but we'll try Mulligan. Eh, yeah, that's better. We got the turn two play. Hopefully we get a couple more lands, and that's going to be pretty difficult for the opponent. Three charging Monstrosaur. Get rid of one. Oh, okay then. Wow, they were just so afraid of dinos that they conceded without seeing much of anything. All right, we will take it. The faster we fly up the ladder, the better. That's looking good. Stomping Ground, Castle Embrith, which we only have one of in the deck anyway, so that's pretty nice to see. We got the turn two play, turn one, look for something that we could play turn three after Hotepec Huntmaster, so that's going to be pretty good.
Yeah, definitely thrashing Braun to Dawn uh, just to lock in that turn three play. We'll be able to play Charging Monstrosaur even if we don't draw another land and they leave Otepec. Uh, okay, so it looks like maybe Mono Green Elves. Simicus. Oh, this is good. See? See, friends? We got Thrashing Brontodon. Get rid of Simic Ascendancy pretty quick. And they're going to hate us. So I was a little sad we didn't have three possible green uh, to do Thrashing Brontodon and Commune. But instead, we can use that red for the activation of Thrashing Brontodon, so we can maximize our mana this turn. That's going to be pretty good. We'll get a swing in with Otepec Hunt Master, and I think we'll wait a turn to see what they play, but we'll sacrifice Thrashing Brontodon at the end of their turn just in case. Yeah, so we're going to want to get rid of that before the trigger from Biogenic Goose. So I think just getting rid of it right now is best. We'll just go charging Monstrosaur. Uh-oh, this isn't looking good. Yeah, I think it may be over for us, friends. Oh gosh, this is uh, about as bad as it could get. Yeah, we're not punching through that, unfortunately.
It's all right. We got a turn three, turn four. We do go first, so I'd like something a little faster. We'll try one mulligan, see what we get. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Pray for a forest or a mountain or stomping ground. I think we'll make it work. We're on the play, so should be okay. As long as we don't face another one of those biogenic ooze decks. That's pretty backbreaking when you get well, not just one, but three of them. All right, this will be perfect. We can do Otepec and Thrash together. Rampaging Brontodon next turn, which, well, possibly next turn, if we get a forest. That's all right. We got a 5-3 trample and a 5-5 trample. I'll take it. Should be game, it's looking like it. Go, friends. I think I'll maybe save up a uh, couple packs, a bit of gold, do a pack opening video, maybe evaluate what uh, we get and how we might use it. Hopefully it'll be something good, but uh, ooh, yeah, I'm going to want something a little faster if I'm on the draw, so we'll try a mulligan. That's all right. Commune, we could dig for... Marauding Raptor, turn one. We've got turn two, Scorching Dragonfire if we need. So I think that'll be all right. Perfect, just what we were hoping for. And we'll also be able to play the Thrashing Brontodons because we have Stomping Ground, uh, giving us the option for two green if needed.
Okay, perfect. I was hoping they would use up all their mana, so now instead I'm just going to take it out, stop that value, uh, two for one, so that's pretty good. alright. Whether I drew land or not, I would have wanted to play Marauding Raptor. Alright, now things should be good. We got multiple plays if they burn all their counter spells. Yeah, this is a case where shifting ceratops would be quite helpful. I'm thinking that's going to be a pretty good thing to craft if mono blue becomes uh, pretty prevalent. I think it could be since it's fairly budget, so it's definitely something I'm going to be keeping in mind. Um, let's try Otepec. Oh man, they're just full of counters. Well, that's game friends. That's that's how it goes sometimes. They just counter everything. That's all they had. Nothing much you can do about that, but we did our best. And with shifting ceratops, how it would certainly have hosed that mono blue deck it's just good all around it's a decent body I mean being a 5-4 you get the possible haste if you need you get the trample the reach um, it just is a fantastic card even in the main board it's pretty reasonable that way as well so if you face mono blue game one you know it's not going to be a complete blowout and that's a pretty good starting hand, definitely. Rugged Highlands turn one is good because we have so few turn one plays. That's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Bonjour. Oh boy, here we go. Gobbos. Yeah, I'm thinking um, Fiery Cannonade or Flame Sweep is going to be good. It could have actually helped against that Mono Blue deck as well. Being uh, two for one. I think an Otepec will be better in this case. We get the turn three hasty Thrash of Raptors. 
if I had something that cost three, say like um, Thrashing Brown to Dawn perhaps, I would have done Drover and then next turn I got Castle Embreath so I could play Otepec Hunt Master. That dinosaur is, that three dinosaur is reduced down to two. So I play Otepec for two, then that dinosaur for two. So that's often a better way to do things if you have that combination in hand. But hmm. yeah, we'll put a bit of pressure on them. I don't see him blocking with either, so we'll get some of that damage through. We could go Thrashing Brontodon next turn. We could possibly go Drover and Thrashing Brontodon if we draw land. May have to use Scorching Dragonfire if they get something big in play. in their sweet time. could be Muxus there. I mean, they do have it. Sacrifice the Skirk Prospector, Snoop. I'm betting they don't because if I had it, I would have sacrificed the Prospector, Snoop, and used the three mountains to pay for it. Yeah, Flame Sweep or Fiery Cannonade again would be fantastic here and blow them out pretty good. I think we'll definitely craft that pretty soon. see what they play. We got Scorching Dragon Fire to get rid of Volley Veteran. Okay.
But I think that's still game, friends. Pretty hard to deal with that without a sweeper or just a straight up board wipe. All right, well, there's the second batch of games. Some hits, some misses, but if you like the video, you know what to do. And see you next time.